Okay, hey guys, I don't know if you saw the previous video, but that was a uh, Q&A video, and I asked if you guys have any questions, and I got about 40 to 50 questions, so... Um, of course, I can't reply to every single one of them in this video, so I will be replying to them later on um, in the comment section, so do not worry about that. Um, anyway, uh, first question is from Tenakai2427, uh, congrats on 2000. Do you prefer aquatic salamanders or terrestrial salamanders? Anyways, when is the herping season in Fukuoka? Um, herping season for amphibians is from maybe the beginning of April to November or so before it starts snowing. And um, for reptiles, they come out from the beginning of June to maybe October or so. And next question is from Extreme Reptiles. Will we get any inverts or fish? Um, Fish-wise, I might get some someday. Not, not anytime soon, just, it's a, you know, I could get one if I want, but I don't have that much space to get one, and I'd rather get reptiles at the moment, so, not anytime soon, but I would like to have some someday, and for inverts, I don't think so, I'm more of a reptile and amphibian guy, so, yeah, maybe I might get into them, who knows, um, next question is from RJ Pets. um, why did you get into reptiles? Um, I actually got into them when I went to went out herping with my friend when I was seven or eight, and um, I've liked them for almost ten years now, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, I went out herping and um, I found these grass lizards, which which are native to Japan, and they were so cool. And later on, I got some animals you know, from other countries, and that just got my hobby going on till now. Um, next question is from Lizards101. Uh, how to make chocolate chip cookies? Just kidding. Um, I don't know how, anyway. Uh, his question is, what's your favorite animal that you don't have? Well, um, my favorite animal will be the next pickup from the Reptile Expo, which I'm thinking to get. Um, it's a Tachydormus dorsalis or something like that. It's a Sakshima grass lizard, and they're native to some islands around Okinawa in Japan. And those are like, you might know the uh, long-tailed grass lizards, <laughs> long-tailed grass lizards from China and Southeast Asia. Well, it's like that, but green, and those are really awesome. Um, the G Green Rocket asks, uh, how old are you and how many pets do you have in total? Well, let's see. So that's all I have, um, 14 at the moment, I might get more soon, and I am 15 in May, so yeah. Moving on, we have a question from uh, Reptiles We Are, uh, will you finally get a snake at the next expo? Um, I don't think so, sorry man, I know you like snakes, but I'm more of a lizard guy, so I am going to be getting a pair or maybe a trio of the grass lizards that I mentioned earlier so no uh, snakes for, from that expo. Okay next question is from reptile guys um, what's your uh, best herb find in nature? Um, my favorite herb that I found was a of course the Japanese fire belly newt since you know they sell the Chinese fire bellies and stuff at your local pet store, but I could find Japanese ones which are more rare um, and ponds and stuff. So yeah, I like the Japanese fire bellies. Next question is from BLK Reptiles. Um, what's your dream animal or reptile? Like I mentioned, the Sakshima grass lizard. Monkey Blast asks, um, what's your favorite lizard? Same thing, <laughs> Sakshima grass lizard. Next question is from Scales Forever. Uh, 
What reptile do you want next? Wink, wink. And will you ever keep any snakes? Um, Snake-wise, maybe someday, not anytime soon. Um, and lizard, like I mentioned, the Sexima grass lizard. Uh, question from Gecko God. Um, how much money do you think you spend a year on herps like feeding and heat and light from Gecko God? Um, I don't know. I don't really pay for the light, but I do pay for everything else. Um, and food-wise, I get, I don't know, $3 worth of crickets and stuff almost every week. And you could do the <laughs> uh, math part on your own, your own if you want. Okay, I really like this question. It's from Sawyer's Got Crabs. Uh, what's the most common amphibian slash reptile you find while herping? Um, for amphibians, you will definitely find the dark spotted frogs and Japanese tree frogs. And um, if you go up in the mountains, you'll find the Japanese brown frogs. And for reptiles, you'll definitely find uh, Japanese grass lizards, which are super common. Okay, next question is from AN Reptiles. Uh, I have two questions for the video. Will you ever plan on getting fish? And who is your favorite reptile keeper to watch? Um, number one, for the fish, like I said, I will like to get one someday, but not anytime soon. Um, and for the reptile keeper one, that's actually a first time question. I've never got that before. Um, but I don't know, I do have a lot of uh, reptile keepers that I like to watch, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, moving on. Okay, next question is from E H E C or Ech uh, 19200. Uh, I have a question and congrats. Your leopard gecko's jaw seemed crooked. Uh, why is that? Also, have you considered using excavator clay for your beardy, beardy or leopard gecko? So I have Stripe B out right here. Um, her jaw is in fact not crooked whatsoever. whatsoever. Um, but there is a little uh, scab on her uh, mouth and that makes it look like her top jaw is a little longer than her bottom. So it may look like, yeah, like right here, you could tell that it looks a little longer, but it's just a little cut that she got from uh, probably trying to shed or something, but. It's no big deal. It'll come back. And yeah, you could tell that she's totally fine. Anyway, um, about the excavator, um, we do not have that here in Japan, but if we did, I'd definitely like to use that. Um, but I do use a similar clay substrate for my Leopard Gecko and uh, Gigi Skink. It's basically uh, clay, but it's dried out. And it's not that kind of clay, like the clay you use for playing with. It's for planting and stuff, and it's pretty useful for my leopard gecko and these drive by variants. It doesn't cause any impaction, so that's pretty good. For my beardy, I don't think I'll be getting that kind of clay substrate as well. I'll be using just tiles for the whole thing. I've already got some, but I'll be getting more. So, yeah. Um, I'm, al I'm almost gonna finish the QA video, but next question is from TH. Gamer, uh, your camera give me the info of the camera, please. Um, I am using a Canon EOS 1200D. Um, it's a really good DSLR, but it's pretty pricey, so mm, if you have the money, go for it. <laughs> okay, next question is from Mr. Steel Yo Turtle. Uh, how do you know English if you're in Japan? Um, I lived in the U.S. for four years, and I kept speaking uh, English since then till now, and I still use it among my family and stuff, and um, I know Japanese because I live here, so I know both languages, but it's not such a big deal. Next question is from Spoony McSpoonerson. Uh, interested to know what substrate you use for Stripey, my leopard gecko. Um, like uh, I said, I use a clay-ish substrate for him. And um, it's called Red Dirt here in Japan, and it's really cheap. But um, I don't know if you guys have that in your lo at your local, you know, uh, gardening centers and stuff. So if you don't have them, uh, like EHEC said earlier, um, the excavator will do good enough. Okay, so next question is from Heck Hund. 
how much does it cost to make uh, cost you to make terrariums like you have for your newts? Uh, where do you get the moss moss that you have in your terrariums? Well, um, it basically basically costs uh, over a hundred bucks for sure. Um, the moss itself, one pack of it would cost about seven dollars, and I get a lot of them. My marble newt tank is just packed with live. Uh, plants and you could also pick some from you know outside if you want uh, I picked these two from outside and they're doing great you have to wash the roots and stuff really well though um, and otherwise you do get a lot of plants and stuff and it's gonna cost you quite a bit but if you already have the tank like the terrarium and stuff just get the soil moss uh, some kind of spray bottle or something to keep it moist and you're good to go basically. You could pick some moss up from outside and wash them real good, then that should be good as well. Okay, so the final questions from come from Tijman Lemieux. I definitely said that wrong, but um, anyway, here we go. He left 10 questions. So, one, how old are you? 14, 15 in May. Uh, two, face reveal. Sorry, no thank you. Uh, three, are you getting any new animals, um, especially lizards? Yes, I will be. Sakshima grass lizards. Uh, four, I may. I may be going to buy a new camera. What are your thoughts about your Canon EOS 1200D? Um, great, it's really good. Uh, really good DSLR. If you have the money, go for it. Uh, five, How have you ever had fish? They I did when I was like four or so, but they passed away. Um, I wasn't really caring for them. I didn't have any thoughts for animals really back then. Uh, six, if you had the chance, would you ever buy a frog? Firebelly toads are simple and awesome. Um, I do have my white tree frog, so yes, I always love frogs, so yeah. Uh, seven, when did you start this channel? Uh, when, I think it was like, uh, January 15th of 2013, but I started making videos in about March, I think? Uh, seven, uh, sorry, eight, how did you get into YouTube? I don't know. I like YouTube. Uh, 9. How many animals do you have? Exactly. 14. Uh, 10. I'm moving to Ara Arabia uh, or something. I don't know how to pronounce that. Island in the Netherlands Antilles. Uh, then I can catch and herp for lizards too. Do you have any tips? Um, always bring some equipment with you, you know. You'd want to have some knowledge about the wildlife around your place so that you'll know what's venomous or poisonous or not. And of course you could tell the species. Um, so yeah, research, that's the number one thing you need to know about when you go herping. Because I see a lot of videos and they say, what's this <laughs> salamander or whatever like that. Um, you should at least know what your uh, animals are in your wild habitat. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.